Sometimes rather than riding and training, it's easier to just play with your horse. So today it's raining outside and we need something to do. So we're going to play a few games in the barn. This is actually our second video about this subject. And so I wanted to share some new games I had come up with in this video that I hadn't shared in the first one. All the games I come up with in these videos are designed to help train your horse as well as let them have fun. You can apply these also to your training process just to help your horse be more confident and to build your bond as well. So the first game we're going to be playing is one where I'm going to show Tucker an obstacle and he's going to touch his nose to it and when he touches his nose to it, he's going to get rewarded. So this game in particular is really going to help your horse build confidence. So out in the field, if a horse sees a new object, they're going to be apprehensive about it, but they are going to want to approach and investigate. So this is part of that investigating instinct that horses have. So I'm going to show Tucker a few objects and see how he does. So with this game, I've laid different objects out throughout the barn and we're going to go look at each one. You can also do this in the arena because it's raining outside. That's why we're in the barn today. Um, but I'm going to start out with this object here. It's a toy from Kong Equine and I'm going to just let him come up to it. And as soon as he touches his nose to it, He'll get rewarded. <gasps> Good pony! And I'm going to give him a treat. I like to use treats in these games because horses love food. They're motivated by food. So what better way to tell them they did something right than by giving them food? So let me see if I can tap it and get his attention and get him to touch it again. Can you touch it? <gasps> Good boy! Good boy! This is a toy that my dog chewed the head off of and we're going to see what he does. It actually squeaks so I'm interested to see if he'll bite it or do something with it. Good boy. Yeah, you get your treat for that. So if you have a really anxious or like a spooky horse like Tucker, this can be a great game to do with them just to help them see that not every obstacle is going to eat them. You know, this is actually a squeaky toy. What is that? I don't like that sound either. So this is a good one. I have a jacket hanging up. The other day I was out in the arena and I was hot, so I took my jacket off and hung it on a jump standard and Tucker freaked out at it. So this is a great one for him to approach and sniff. Good boy, good boy. That's what you freaked out at the other day. Can you touch it again? Here, here, look, good boy. So the next game is also a curiosity game, I like to call it. But instead of getting the horse to sniff the object with their nose, I'm going to get them to stand on it. So I got a board here. I also may bring in a tarp. But what this does is I'm going to put my object on the ground. And so the goal is to get the horse to step on it. So if you have a horse that is afraid to go through water or to walk over a tarp, this is a great place to start. Oh, hello. So we're going to use the exact same curiosity with the toys. At first, if the horse is apprehensive and they just sniff the object, they get rewarded. And then once they put one foot on the object, they get rewarded. And so it's the same thing where it's almost like a game of curiosity to them. So let's see how he does with the board and some other objects on the ground. So the first thing we have is a plank of wood, which isn't scary, but will make a different sound when he steps on it. Oh, good boy. Good boy. So even that, like I said, if your horse is apprehensive, that's a great place to start and reward them. And then let's see if I can get them to step on it. Can you step? Step. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Now I have an old rag. We're going to see if he is skilled enough to step on that. Hey, can you step on this? Let's look at it first. Oh, okay. I think you know what you're supposed to be doing. Oh, oh, close. Where is it? The funny thing about horses is they can't see directly under themselves. Okay, okay. Can you step on it? Or try to? I know you already tried. Come on. Well, I'll give that to him. He's a big horse. Can't see his feet. The next item I have is a little bit more scarier. It's a hay bag. And you may be thinking, what are you doing in getting your horse to step on a hay bag? Well, number one, I can wash it off. But number two, a bunch of different objects is good to do with your horse because it just, it desensitizes them to things around their feet. A lot of horses are really sensitive when their feet are touched by different things. And that could lead them to freaking out or even getting stuck and hurting themselves if it's like a wire or something. And so that's why I like to try a bunch of different things 
and see, obviously I make sure it's safe, like I don't want it to like wrap around him and him get caught up in it, but he also needs to try this out with different things. Can you step? Good boy. Good boy. Go on. Good boy. Come on. Good, good. Good. So this can be great too if your horse has trouble getting on the trailer and they're really apprehensive about that. You can do this exercise with them, just getting them to put their feet on the trailer and reward. So there, he's barely on the bag, but he is on it. So I'll go ahead and reward him. Good boy. Can we walk over it? You're going to jump, aren't you? Good boy. Oh, that's so smart. Come on. Good boy. The rain stopped a little bit, so we were able to come outside. Our next game is basically just pole bending, but from the ground. So what I'm going to try and do is get Tucker to go in between these obstacles and bend as if they're poles. The reason this can be fun for horses is number one, they're not just doing the same thing over and over again. The obstacles kind of give them something else to focus on and go around. Number two, obstacles are great for engaging your horse's mind. So this can be a great mental stimulation for your horse. So I'm going to start with the lead just to show you all what I do. But this is also a great exercise for starting to get your horse to start watching your body language and watch how you're communicating. So to get him to go around the block, I'll just point around. Go on. Good boy. And then I can move myself this way so he goes to this side. And then not pulling on the lead, I can just get him to walk with me this way. There. And I'll push him back out. So he has to go around the block, but I don't have to. And that's a great place to start. So let's try it off of the lead now. Even just using two obstacles, you can make really complex exercises. So I'll get him to go around like I did. Then I'll use my body language to get him to come this way. Good boy. And go around this block. Come in. Good boy. Good boy. I can also work on more complex things too, like just getting him to exercise more without me. So see, I can just get him to turn like that. Good boy. Come here. Come in. And so this is a fun thing to do. Let's circle this one. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Working around obstacles is a great exercise for your horse and it's a great game, especially if you want to start to develop the bond where the horse is drawn to you and wants to follow you around. So the next game I'm going to cover is follow the leader. So if you ever watch horses in the pasture, they like to follow each other. You can tell who's buddies because the buddy horses will follow each other around. So this really mimics that behavior where I'm just going to really encourage Tucker to follow me and I'll show you guys how to really start this off simply with your horse. To start follow the leader with my horses, I like to start with just a few steps. I'll go backwards and see if I can get them to step towards me. Hey, come here. Good boy. So that's where to start. If you're just working with your horse off the lead, this is an easy game. I can kind of change my direction and see if I can get him to turn. Hey, come here. Good. Come on. Good boy. If your horse doesn't want to step forward, I find it's kind of easier to get them to turn around towards you rather than forward. Come here. So even if you just start by walking towards the horse's hind end, and getting them to step towards you like that. I find that that's a lot easier for some horses. So from there, now I can start walking. And I can even incorporate my obstacles that I worked on before. Can I get my horse to follow me around my obstacle? Huh, Tucker, you look a little distracted. Can I add a draw? Come on, come on. Trot, 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 trot. Good boy. Come on. Come on. Come on, pony. Whoop. Good boy. Good boy. There's some other really fun games you can play with kind of the follow the leader mentality. One like red light, green light. 
And this will really work on your horse responding to you and watching your body language to see how they need to react. So if I start jogging, he knows he needs to trot. If I stop, he needs to stop. So let's play some red light, green light. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Getting ahead of me. If you're looking for some more games or ways to play with your horse, check out my part one to this video and I'll put the link in the description so you can click that. To help this video show up for more people, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more weekly horse videos.